Don Shane live in San Antonio. Back in our studios, the former Pistons head coach Chuck Daly, the Hall of Famer, won two NBA titles. And we will talk about what happened here in Game 7, a Piston loss to San Antonio, World Championship win, and I guess a little bit about what happens next year as well. First of all, Chuck, you're never happy when you get to this point and lose, but do you think that after they sit back and, and look at what happened for this year, getting back to the seventh game of the NBA Finals, they will take some satisfaction from doing what they did, or do you think if you don't win, they have no satisfaction from this? I think after winning it last year, there'll be very little satisfaction. Win, you know, there are no more big games, that philosophy. You've got to win a championship when you're this good. And I think they'll be very, very disappointed. Plus the fact the season's going to end so abruptly for them. And now they've got to sit around and think about it. There's going to be some unhappy days ahead. Put us, uh, I guess, in perspective for us. Uh, you've been on both ends. When you lose, I assume you're hit harder and remember it more than even when you win sometimes. Oh, I think absolutely. The losses stick with you much, much longer. The winning kind of uh, happens. Uh, it's over, and you walk around smiling like someone said. It's really true. You'll be driving down the road. You just keep smiling until the season starts next year. The losses, when you lose it, you think about all the things that might have been or could you could have done or someone could have done to solve the problem. All right, let's talk about what happened in this game. Uh, it was real close, one point at halftime, tied after three, but the fourth quarter belonged to the Spurs, and really a, a great deal of the third quarter did after the Pistons uh, went on a little spurt and had a nine-point lead. Ginobili and Duncan, as you see here, just took over. Your thoughts on Tim Duncan and his play, because this was a heavily criticized player between games six and seven here in San Antonio. Well, you know, he's a great player. He's been MVP of the league many times before. But he was up against a lot of really good basketball players, big people who could defend, who could be physical. And he had his problems, uh, and rightfully so, because he's playing maybe against the best defensive team and the best defensive rebounding team in the NBA or in the world. Uh, but, he, you know, he stayed the course. He kept fighting. He could have given up, could have quit. He got a lot of shots blocked. He got out positioned a lot of time. One, one thing that happened tonight, it looked to me as if they were, the Pistons were fronting him more, which gave him a little more opportunity on the offensive board. I don't know that he had that many more offensive rebounds per se, but gave him some pretty good opportunities. But he had stretches in the game where he didn't play very well, and they were really struggling to score during that one stretch. You know, uh, he shot a lot tonight and uh, scored a lot of points, but he certainly took a lot of shots. There was some sentiment, I guess, for Bowen maybe as the MVP, but Tim got it. Do you think that that's deserved? Do you think maybe uh, Bowen deserves a little more credit than he was getting? The guy who scores the points is the guy who gets it. No, I, I, I definitely think uh, Duncan deserved it. Uh, I, I thought Ginobili maybe might have been second, but uh, I, I don't think Bowen did a very good job defensively, no question about it. He made some big threes, but there were long, long minutes when he wasn't part of the offense, merely uh, positioning himself in the corner. But he was a big factor, there's no question, because he helped shut down the guards, and they switched him around to take care of some defensive uh, presences. But uh, he, he's in, he would have been in the mix, but you still got to give it to the big guy. Got a lead and got careless. We had a seven-point lead and made a bad turnover they score three then we take a bad shot and they come back and all of a sudden nine point lead is is that you know over got the crowd in it um, but we had our chances you gotta you know I thought pop did a great job of getting us out of stuff with their defensive effort you know I I think this is good for our league um, with these kind of teams playing so emotionally um, you know, you want to win badly, but I also recognize the fact that another team deserved it. Pistons head coach Larry Brown, Chuck, first and foremost, uh, do you believe that we have seen the last of Larry Brown as far as the Pistons head coach is concerned? My gut feeling is that he will probably move on. Uh, I don't have any basis for that, but I, I sense in a couple of his 
statements that uh, that might happen. Uh, but, you know, you never know for sure. He could change his mind. That's a, that's a personal feeling on my own, in my own case. You know, you have been involved in other capacities with other organizations, consulting and such, uh, besides coaching. Uh, we've heard before that he's a coach. That's what he says he does. Would you be surprised if he takes some front office position with Cleveland or anybody else and doesn't coach? I wouldn't be surprised that he takes it temporarily. <laughs> I, I think Larry Brown will coach again. I think he's laid down the edict. He is a coach. He loves to be around practices. He'd probably rather spend the time in practice than anything else uh, that he does in life, maybe except for his family. I think we'll see him coach again. Okay, Chuck and I still have a lot to discuss concerning this game and the Pistons uh, ending of the season in a way in which none of us really wanted to see. We are back with more of the Pistons postgame show live from San Antonio after this. The Rock Financial Pistons game day is brought to you in part by Rock Financial. Call the mortgage experts at 800-333-ROCK or visit them at rockfinancial.com. By Wallside Windows, we can do that. We are the factory. By Bell Tire, trust us, we'll make you happy you came in. That's a promise. By Gardner White, get the look you want for less at Gardner White. By SBC, going beyond the call. And by your Metro Detroit Ford dealers, check out the great deals on the new 2005 Ford vehicles. Visit FordVehicles.com. All-star and champion Ben Wallace knows a thing or two about Sirius Bling. Yo, check it. Nice. Now check this, the Ford F-150. 28 World Championships is the world's favorite full-size pickup. Now that's some Sirius Bling. Now current AZD Plan lessees can lease a fully equipped F-150 XLT Super Cab for $199 a month with $19.69 cash to its signing. Hey man, it takes a champion to know one. <laughs> See your Metro Detroit Ford dealer today and... Summer is heating up, and you can make it sizzle during the Gardner White 7 Days of Summer Sale. Where, for the first time ever, pay nothing until 2007. You can get the furniture you love in the styles and savings you want. Plus, Gardner White pays your sales tax, and there's no minimum purchase. Add in free next-day delivery and free setup, and making your home a summer retreat is a breeze. But a deal this hot can't last, so get to Gardner White today and save. New car, Gary. Huh? No, I got one of those Trojan horse viruses. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah. Can't seem to get rid of it. Well, good luck with that. Make internet security mm -hmm. the last thing on your mind. SBC Yahoo Online Protection blocks viruses, pop-ups, and more. It's all together. Included with SBC Yahoo DSL, now just $14.95 a month when you order online. Now during the summer sales drive, it's one week to deal. Where well-qualified Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can lease one of America's hottest products for just $2.19 a month. Go to places you've only seen in postcards with the fully capable award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Or qualified returning Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can get into their own safety utility vehicle, the Chrysler Pacifica, for only $2.19 a month. Plus, lease now and pay no security deposit. But hurry, one week to deal ends June 30th. So get to your Chrysler and Jeep Superstores today. I'm not like kicking and screaming. I mean, do it took every single game in the NBA and every single minute for them to get that trophy away from us. We'll be back. I'm not down. The Pistons president, Joe Dumars, you know, Joe told me yesterday if there were three or four minutes to go in the game and the Pistons were in it, four or five points, he felt like there was a good chance that they would win. They were kind of in it at that point. They, they got it down to five or six points, were kind of in it, but uh, they couldn't pull off this victory. Chuck, just a word on Joe. Uh, what a job he has done in uh, the last three years assembling this team to win a championship and get back to the championship uh, in back-to-back -back years. This, this guy deserves a lot of credit for throwing this group together, and it, for the way they're put together and the way the contracts are structured, they should be together and good for still another three or four or five years. Yeah, Don, I agree with you. Um, Joe has done a magnificent job. Uh, who would have ever thought he would be this kind of an executive? But I'll tell you what he did. 
He went out and got players like himself, guys who wanted to play defense, were willing to sacrifice. They were good teammates. Uh, he understands what the quality is for a winning team. Uh, that along with the fact that this particular team, although they didn't win it this year, they're, they're a position to win it again. They have... They are built to win again. I think he has to tweak it. I think there's certain things that have to be accomplished in the offseason. But uh, if anybody could do it, Joe will. Okay, you say tweak it and do some things. Uh, is the Achilles heel right now, the bench isn't quite what you'd like it to be uh, after Antonio and maybe Lindsey Hunter, who will come back or not come back. We don't even know yet. But is that an area of concern as you look at this basketball team now? I think all year, uh, basically, they've had that problem. Getting the third score consistently uh, on a nightly basis. They've got Billups and Hamilton had to get their 20 or close to that every night. I think Joe has to look for a couple of offensive players, either inside or outside, and I definitely think they need more three-point shooting. They got beat badly in this series from the three-point line. I'm not the biggest advocate of it, but it is a significant factor in the game today. And I think he will be uh, looking for some offensive people. All right, our Vic Faust and uh, Tom Lydon were in the Pistons locker room after the game, and Tom was involved in the discussions and the questions Everybody surrounding Tayshawn Prince. For the guys who were here this first year, you know, McDyce and Arroyo and those guys, you know, I feel really tough because um, uh, those guys worked hard for us to get us back here. Um, you know, they really helped us out a whole lot to get back to the position we are today. And um, uh, for, for not to uh, pull it through today, um, I, I really feel uh, tough for those guys because they stepped up huge for us today. Special McDyce played great. Um, you know, once again, the foul trouble really got us, but uh, them guys stepped up for us all season long, especially in this series, and uh, we just came up short. Chuck, your thoughts on the development of Tayshawn. Uh, maybe another giant step, or, uh, or maybe a little bit bigger than a baby step this year. Well, he's got so many assets. Uh, he's a great defender. Uh, he, can, he can score from the three-point area. He can get to the basket. He rebounds. He does everything that you need. Uh, I think well, we'd all like to see him be a little bit more of an offensive player. Sometimes that's difficult depending on your mentality or the, the framework of your particular team. But uh, he's a great player and going to be a great player in this league for a long, long time. One guy who had to be exceptionally disappointed tonight, even though everybody's disappointed, is Chauncey Billups. I mean, coming into this game, as far as the series was concerned, he was the leading scorer. He was the leading assist guy. He had the highest free throw percentage. He only had eight turnovers, but he certainly struggled tonight, got in foul trouble early. So Chauncey will take this personally, knowing that he felt uh, pretty responsible for whether or not this team would win or lose here tonight. Here are some comments from Chauncey after the game. Uh, I played good, you know what I mean? I don't know if I played my best, but I played good. But all that really doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Uh, we didn't get it done, you know what I mean? We ain't not going home the champ, so, you know, none of that personal stuff matters, man. I know you're not thinking about next year yet, just how we feel this team bounce back. Well, we just got to remember this feeling, you know what I mean? Remember how it feels right now to lose. Um, and somebody to celebrate, you know, on account of us. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be back here again. You know what I mean? I'm sure that we'll be back here again. We did have a good thing going. You know, we, we, we maybe made a run. Um, we got under control. Uh, you know, we turned it over, I think. And they, you know, they made a couple plays. You know, and one. Just, you know, they, they, that's, what, that's what they do, you know? Same thing we do. We make turn turnovers into points. We convert that all the time. They did that. Um, we got the game back and, you know, where they wanted it. And, um, you know, they took it over. Chuck, like you, Chauncey now knows what it feels like to both win the championship and lose the championship. But uh, he's he's right, I think. Uh, it sticks with you, but you expect to be back. Uh, this team, uh, I guess your thoughts on him and uh, a tough night for him as well. Well, he did have a tough night, and uh, we talked about it earlier, and you mentioned it, the two fouls early, I think, slowed him down, got him out of his rhythm. And then uh, the uh, Spurs were struggling to score also. They picked up their defense and made it very, very difficult for him. Uh, the, the difference in the game was that the San Antonio Spurs had somewhere to go with the ball, and that was inside to Duncan. He didn't shoot that well. 
but he could get off a shot. It was a little bit more difficult for the uh, Pistons guards in particular to get off shots tonight because there weren't, weren't that many shots taken. This was a, a low possession game on both sides, so consequently you don't get that many opportunities. It's difficult to deliver. Okay, Chuck and I still have some things to discuss concerning Game 7 and the Pistons season ending here tonight. We are back with more of the Pistons post-game show live from our studios and from San Antonio, Texas. Please stay with us. Well, I've had a good experience online because I move around a lot. So I'm able to find a computer somewhere, sit down, I can communicate with my agent. We're able to do so much online. Even if it's late at night, folks love to go to rockfinancial.com because we've got articles, we've got calculators, we've got all of our featured options. You go to rockfinancial.com, you're going to find a lot of information. That's very convenient to be able to go online and see exactly where the loan is, where you are in the process. You can apply online at rockfinancial.com or you can call 800-333-ROCK. They don't look like family. No way. Your grandma, she adopted me and Uncle Jack like she did your daddy. But on August 12th... Why would somebody hire a killer to shoot mom? Some bonds... The least we can do is go bang on a few doors... ...are stronger than blood. Mark Wahlberg, Tyree Skibson, Andre Benjamin, Garrett Hedlund. I just wanted to talk! Let's go talk to him now. Four Brothers, from director John Singleton. Starts Friday, August 12th in theaters everywhere. Are you just ignoring the water problems in your basement? You might want to call the experts. Whether your water problem is big or small, at InstaDry Basement Systems, we can help solve it. With today's advances in waterproofing methods, we'll make sure that your basement offers you the living space it should. Call today for a free estimate. InstaDry, known best for being better. Check this out. It's the Mercury Montego. Montego reinvents the car with one great idea after another. Can your car do this? Sit up higher for a better view. Go ahead, cross your legs. There's plenty of room here. Lots of room here, too. All this plus 29 miles per gallon on the highway. The only car that can do all of this is this one, the Mercury Montego. Now lease Montego for just $2.49 a month. Compare us, compare them. There's no comparison. Subway Restaurant's Personal Pizza, awesome! Now there's new Personal Pizza from Subway Restaurants. Sizzling hot and bubbly with all your favorite toppings. Hot out of the oven in just 90 seconds. Personal Pizza, fast! Subway, eat fresh. Get to Subway Restaurants any day after 5 p.m. and choose any two regular footlong subs for just $8.99. That's right, any day after 5 p.m. you can get any two regular footlong Subway subs for just $8.99. Subway, eat fresh. We didn't make plays down the stretch, you know, when we really needed to in the um, crucial points of the game. You know, um, they got stops and they hit shots and, you know, made plays when they needed. And, um, you know, we didn't do those things. You were tied 57-57 with 12 minutes to go. The championship was that close and that you're not going to be able to go home with it. Um, you know, we, we let one slip away. We, we, everybody feel like we let one slip away, but, um, you know, you got to tip your hat to the Spurs. You know, they came out and, you know, showed a lot of guts, you know, played with a lot of heart. And, um, you know, when, when they needed to make plays, they did it, you know, so they, they went out and earned it. You know, Ben Wallace may have had the best game of all the Pistons, 12 points, 11 rebounds, and uh, you got to respect him and admire the way he handled this thing as far as the interviews are concerned, giving the Spurs the respect that they deserve. Usually, Chuck, if Ben gets off and does really well, it's kind of a, a spur-on kind of a thing for the team, and he was the leading scorer at halftime for him, but uh, not much after that. I, I thought he played well in a losing effort. Well, he did. He had a great game. Um, and, you know, he's, again, playing against an oversized center, and he's had to do that in the back-to-back -back series. It took its toll, I think, in some aspects of it. He's really a power forward, closer to a power forward than a center, but... You know what? What's interesting to me is how well all of these guys have handled themselves in these interviews, how much class they've shown, 
congratulating the other team, not crying about officiating, and that's the way it ought to be. Uh, I think I think Detroit has, you know, ought to be very proud of this club. Yeah, and, and that really says something. I mean, you, you talked about Joe kind of recruiting and signing players in his image. It wasn't just his image as a player, but his image as a person as well. That was really important to him. Yeah, I agree. He uh, continually throughout his career, he was the same. He was never any in, in any of the messy stuff. Uh, he, he kept his dignity, his pride, uh, class act all the way. He was truly admired around the league. You couldn't go anywhere, and you still can't to this day where people don't say yeah. something to the effect, boy, that Joe Dubar is a great guy. Yeah, and you know what? The organization kind of recruits itself. Everybody knows they're good, and the facilities are good, and the people are good, but Joe is a big factor in guys wanting to become Pistons, is it not? Yeah, I, I think very definitely. You've got to, uh, there's a recruiting aspect of basketball on a professional level, not just collegiately. Uh, you've got to present the right kind of uh, team, facilities, uh, and particularly the kind of people they're going to be dealing with. And Joe does all of that, and he's very, very good at it. And that's why he's easily one of the top five executives uh, in basketball, maybe even higher. All right, Joe is uh, likely looking for a new coach in the next few days or a few weeks, but the situation in San Antonio is pretty darn solid. Greg Popovich not going anywhere. He's won three titles now. Here's what he had to say after the game. Uh, he was special tonight because you, you could tell when he caught the ball uh, how much more physical he was in getting position and bumping and grinding and getting his shots uh, and making sure that he got toward the rim so that when people came at him he was in good position to open up a teammate for a wide open shot and, and he did that. Uh, he played D, he hit the boards, he did everything. Okay, let's talk about Popovich, uh, Chuck. This guy just doesn't seem to get a lot of credit but Come on, he's won three championships here already. Well, when you have a player like Duncan, it's a little bit like he, like having Shaquille when you win. Sometimes the coach doesn't get quite the credit. Um, but, you know, he's dealing with a great player. He's He's got a lot of benefits going on because he can holler at a superstar. He might be the only coach in the league that can do that. So consequently, when he can holler at him and take him on, he can take on every other member of the squad. But he's done a great coaching job defensively, offensively, and he, he does both jobs. And he knows the kind of player he wants, the same as Joe does. And he's put together an outstanding team that's going to be around, particularly as long as Duncan's there. Yeah, let's talk about that notion for a second. They just mentioned that, uh, you know, he doesn't get a lot of credit because he's got Duncan. Uh, it seems like Jackson gets credit, and he had Michael, and he had Shaq, and he won all those titles. and. He's some genius guy. Why does it work for him? Uh, I guess because uh, maybe Chicago's a bigger market and maybe the gloss from Michael wore off a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> Duncan, Duncan is strictly under the radar guy and so consequently he doesn't take Popovich with him uh, to, into the same <laughs> level of interest. That's the only thing I can figure out. Yeah, okay, that's great. Chuck and I are back with uh, some more of the postgame story. We're not through from San Antonio quite yet, so please hang in there. You like what you see, huh? It's hard out here for a pimp. His dream is alive. I'm never gonna be nothing more than what you is right now. His music is real. I've been hearing this beat in my head. One in a million shots. His time has come. Go! Whoop that trick! It ain't the size of the dog in the fight. The size of the fight is dog. Hustle and Flow. Rated R. Starts Wednesday, July 13th. Only in theaters. You're on your way to a better day when you think Ford first. During our June sales event, get $5,000 cash back on Ford Explorer. Explorer is America's most trusted SUV, safe and versatile. Lease it for only $225 a month. Current ACD plan employees can lease an Explorer XLT 4x4 for $225 a month with $2345 due at signing. Only $225 with a V6, air, moonroof, trailer towing package, and more. Detroit, Detroit Ford dealers. 
You're a parent, which means every day you do something great. But today, you'll outdo yourself. You'll learn about saving for college with the Michigan Education Savings Program, the 529 College Savings Plan with a Michigan income tax deduction. Start today and give yourself more time to build your child's college fund and your 2005 Michigan income tax deduction. Go online or call 1-866-643-8449. Art Van Furniture has been pushed to the limit. We can no longer afford to hold on to $50 million worth of overstocked inventory. So on Wednesday, get further markdowns up to 75% on all furniture, all mattresses, and all accessories. You'll find prices near, at, even below cost. And you do not pay for one full year. Nothing has been held back. Wednesday from 10 to 10. Save up to 75% on everything. Only at Art Van's $50 million inventory sell-off. On DVD, off the streets. Winning in here is the key to winning out there. Where are we from? Into the game. All you gotta do is have the drink. Inspired by the true story. Basketball is a privilege of a coach that turned a team into champions. This whole community is behind this team. And boys into men. We're gonna finish what you started, sir. Directed by Thomas Carter, Samuel L. Jackson, Coach Carter. Play to win on DVD today. The Rock Financial Pistons Game Day is brought to you in part by Rock Financial. Call the mortgage experts at 800-333-ROCK or visit them at rockfinancial.com. By Wallside Windows, we can do that. We are the factory. By Bell Tire, trust us, we'll make you happy you came in. That's a promise. By Gardner White, get the look you want for less at Gardner White. By SBC, going beyond the call. And by your Metro Detroit Ford dealers, think Ford first. And welcome back to our Pistons postgame show here in San Antonio. Chuck, I guess the final uh, thoughts or I guess things that you're going to take out of this game and this season as far as the Pistons are concerned. Well, first of all, uh, anybody in Detroit, anybody in the organization has got to be very proud of this particular team. They're so professional. They handle themselves so well. And quite frankly, I think they have an opportunity to go back again next year and repeat as champions. And uh, the biggest, I guess, things that you'll look for from them next year, I know there's be some maturity in some guys, but obviously some new players as well. Every year that uh, even when Joe does well in the championship season, there's some new blood and some new faces on this basketball team. Yeah, I think he'll be looking particularly for an offensive player. That they need a little bit more scoring. And I talked about earlier in three-point shooting. It isn't always easy to do to get them and the kind of guys you need to work in the system. But they don't need that much to go back to the championship. So I, I think he will be looking for that type of player. All right. Hey, thank you, as always, for uh, all the work and all the help on all of our pregame shows and postgame shows and newscasts during the finals. You were terrific as you were last year, and uh, we greatly appreciate your insight, your analysis, your opinions, everything associated with this Pistons basketball team. Chuck Daly, you are a class guy, and we, we appreciate everything you do for this television station. Well, thank you very kindly, and uh, I really enjoyed it, and I'd like to try for a three-peat. Yeah. <laughs> we you got it, buddy. You're in next year under any and all circumstances. Deal is done. All right, so that's the story. Pistons lose game seven to the Spurs. The Spurs are the NBA champs, but it was a pretty darn solid, strong effort by the Pistons. And it's a, it's a long grind and a difficult thing just to get back to this point. They not only got back here, but they played them down to the final minutes of a seventh game before losing. That's the story. I'm Don Shane live in San Antonio. Thank you all for watching over these past few weeks the NBA Finals with the Pistons and the Spurs right here on Channel 7. Good night, everyone. Well, I've had a good experience online because I move around a lot. I'm able to find a computer somewhere I sit down, I can communicate with my agent. We're able to do so much online. Even if it's late at night, folks love to go to rockfinancial.com because we've got articles, we've got calculators, we've got all of our featured options. 
you go to rockfinancial.com, you're going to find a lot of information. That's very convenient to be able to go online and see exactly where the loan is, where you are in the process. You can apply online at rockfinancial.com or you can call 800-333-ROCK. Now during the summer sales drive, it's one week to deal. Where well-qualified Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can lease one of America's hottest products for just $2.19 a month. Go to places you've only seen in postcards with the fully capable award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Or qualified returning Daimler Chrysler employee lessees can get into their own safety utility vehicle, the Chrysler Pacifica, for only $2.19 a month. Plus, lease now and pay no security deposit. But hurry, one week to deal ends June 30th. So get to your Chrysler and Jeep superstores today. At Yellow Book, we looked at a lot of ideas to help you remember our name. We looked at blimps, a Yellow Book stadium. Sports marketing was a very appealing way to say Yellow Book has a lot of new fans. We even considered a line of Yellow Book clothing. Now that we're coast to coast, we've seen some pretty wild ideas. Some a little far out there. But at the end of the day, we think our book speaks for itself. So remember, yellowbook.com and Yellow Book, not the other book. 1-800-YB-YELLOW. On DVD, off the streets. Winning in here is the key to winning out there. Where are we from? Into the game. All you gotta do is have the drink. Inspired by the true story. Basketball is a privilege of a coach that turned a team into champions. This whole community is behind this team. And boys into men. We're gonna finish what you started, sir. Directed by Thomas Carter, Samuel L. Jackson, Coach Carter. Play to win on DVD today. Seven honored as America's top television station for community service.